Hey guys, it's Jansu. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I ordered skincare stuff from DCM, the Abnormal Beauty Company, um, The Ordinary, like whatever, they're all the same company. I think something like that, I don't know. But I wanted to do like an unboxing, a review, that type of video. Basically, um, I took this kind of quiz thing on The Ordinary website where it picks up things that are supposed to fix your skin so like it'll ask for like your skin type or like what skin problems you have stuff like that and it just tells you things that they have that can help with that so i went and bought all of them all the things that recommended to me low-key i already opened it and i already used the products but not that much not enough to see a difference i think because i don't really see that big of a difference to be honest there's actually four things you can't see but there's four things Okay, so these are the four things that I got. So the first thing is moisturizer, and it is the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Like, this is kind of really tiny. Okay, so the next thing, I don't know how to pronounce this, but 100% plant-derived squalane. To be honest, I don't know what that is. But this feels really oily, and I kind of don't like it, but as long as it's gonna make my skin better. It comes in this little like dropper thing. How do you say that? Niacinamide, 10%. Zinc, 1%. High strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. And last but not least is the Squalane cleanser, which is a Squalane based face cleanser and makeup remover. Whenever I put this on, it feels like it's like melting off the concealer. I just realized how messy my room looks. Okay, so that's it for the unboxing portion of this video. Okay, now I'm gonna test out the stuff that I just showed you guys. Okay, so the cleanser, as you guys saw, is the, I don't know how to say this, Squalane cleanser. Um, and it says that it's also a makeup remover. I just realized it says you're supposed to use it on a dry face, so. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face now. Okay, it didn't completely take off all my makeup, but... Okay, so that's the cleanser, and, like, I'm realizing now that this is really empty. Why does my skin look so weird on camera? So, I'm gonna use these first. So, I'm gonna use this niacinamide. I think that's how you say it. I really don't know. Okay, now I'm using the 100% plant-derived squalene. This is a lot more watery than what I just put on my face. My face looks so greasy right now. Okay, now I'm using the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. Oh, I definitely put too much. I put way too much. I can't even blend this shit out. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm good. My face feels less greasy, less oily. Let's just hope and pray that I don't break out and that my skin doesn't go to shit. I feel so fancy using all these things because I never get things for my skin. I feel like I don't. I probably should take care of my skin better and I'm trying to. I'll see you guys later when I decide to like review what I used. Hello. So that whole part of the video that you guys just watched was filmed I don't even know how long ago, probably five months ago, something like that. I just got lazy and I didn't actually do the review portion of the video. So now this is what that is. And I'm being completely blunt, completely honest with you guys. I haven't used any of those products maybe in like two months because it didn't really make that big of a difference for my skin. Like it didn't make it worse, but it also didn't make it better. It just kind of stayed the same. The only one that I can say actually made a slight difference in my skin is the niacinamide and zinc, like the clear little bottle, which if you guys have little bumps on your forehead or like you have kind of textured skin, not trying to sound like a professional or anything, which I'm very clearly not, that actually helped a bit. So if you have that issue, definitely try it. I'm not saying it's gonna work for you, but it kind of worked for me. And I noticed that it actually did work for me because while I was using it, I didn't really see that big of a difference. And then I ran out, so then I just didn't buy it again. And then I noticed the bumps and the texture on my skin was coming back. And that's when I realized that it was actually kind of working. Then again, I haven't used that in a long time. I have very slight bumps on my forehead, but it's really not that obvious. What I am using right now is this Kiehl's facial cleanser. 
which honestly I don't know how spectacular this is I didn't see that huge of a difference after using this but this came in a kit with this which is the Kiehl's ultra facial cream this if you guys have dry skin or like combination skin with like really dry spots this this is good these two came in a kit for only $25 which I feel like is a steal for Kiehl's even though they're super tiny but I love this so much that I went ahead and I bought this gigantic tub of the same thing so if you guys have dry skin go cop right now this is meh but yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i'm also sorry for not posting in a long time i know i say that in every single video because they're all like months apart maybe you guys can inspire me to post by giving some video suggestions in the comments because my comments are now open and available again finally because youtube doesn't look at me as a 12 year old child anymore so anyways i hope you guys are having a good start to your new year and i will see you guys in my next video bye